So I know that uh, we're sort of drawing into the last few minutes of our time slot here. If there's anything you, you, you either of you gentlemen would like to bring up that we haven't talked about that you think would uh, people would want to hear in terms of making a consideration to buy or evaluate an e-bike? I would say do your homework. Um, and, and, you know, I know buy local is a, uh, uh, somewhat of a cliche, but it's, it's true. It's kind of buyer beware, um, being able to get it serviced, uh, at your local shop, uh, is really a big deal. Um, that's kind of the thing, you know, I would say that, that kind of buyer beware of, of what you're getting online. Um, or, I mean, I, I saw e-bikes for sale in Sam's. I wouldn't trust that thing out of the parking lot. You know, they're not a bike shop. Um, so yeah, just kind of do your homework and, and know what you're, what you're looking at. Yeah. Well, I agree with Jason, do your homework, but then at some point, um, you have to go to your local shop and ride it. Absolutely. It is just like you wouldn't buy a car without test driving, uh, test uh, driving it. So uh, this is a serious vehicle. You're going to invest some money in it. You want to be happy with it uh, for years and years. Uh, you better test ride it before you do a decision. And that's where only the local shop can provide that to you. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm really strongly in the camp of uh, dealing with your local shop for a lot of reasons. Um, test driving it, service. I mean, I, there are just some horror stories out there of people not being able to get service on an e-bike. You know, you call the service line and nobody answers or send them an email, they don't respond. And nothing more frustrating than having a 1000 or 1500 or $2,000 e-bike in the garage that's not running and you can't reach anybody to get it fixed. Well, that's certainly worth to mention it that, um, I mean, there's literally, there's thousand brands out there worldwide. Literally. So yes, and if you buy something and, and on the internet and then you try to reach out to these guys, many of them don't pick up the phone. They might be in a complete different time zone uh, or um, it's just that they don't care and they don't answer your mails. And what we are sure as dealers is we have established relationships with our suppliers. They have uh, tech departments just in case there is something we run into that we couldn't solve. Uh, we have a backup there. Mostly uh, we solve every problem on an e-bike and uh, we can do it here locally. And yeah, your bike has always a home. You can come back and, and get it done. That's a, it's a big deal when it stops working and everything we buy is going to stop working. <laughs> you know, it's like, right? 